there. Sorry I'm late. Hey, there's my girl. Uh, Who are you? My name's Sammy. I'm the Special Forces Commander. Better late than never, right? I meant to join you earlier, but my previous mission ran longer than expected. Better late than never, right? I'm an infantry and mech unit specialist. My units can seize and secure new bases faster than any other CEO on the planet. My APC units are top of the line, too. Huh? My troops and I are ready for action. Whoa. I'm looking forward to working with you, Sammy. Mm -hmm. Right back at you. Now let's get to it. I got some fresh intel that should help us get an edge in the next skirmish. According to this, Olaf's forces are advancing towards Gold Comet. Let's go get him. Wait a minute. Who's that up ahead? The eagle has landed. Time to clip his wings. Now, this introduces something actually kind of special about the first Advance Wars game. That while you is in the sequel, which is CO Selection, there's a specific set of bonus missions in th this campaign that have to be met to a requirement. One of which is every time we fight Eagle, we have to play as Sammy. Uh, I don't remember. Let me look real quick and see what were the other requirements. Okay. Try to keep up. Move out. So yeah, it's just to have Sammy uh, during any evil mission. <laughs> I think I've seen those guys before. Um... Those look like Green Earth troops. I've heard rumors that they have an independent battalion around here. They're supposed to be really tough, especially their air units. I know. i never seen that kind of airplane before. Do you need a debriefing on our new air units? Sure. Yes. It's taken longer than expected, but I was finally able to secure us a jet fighter and bomber for our forces, and just in time it seems. Fighter jets have a huge movement range and can fire only on any flying unit that they are adjacent to. Unfortunately, they're completely useless against ground units. Let me show you just how effective they are. Select this fighter jet. Do you see how far they can move? Since we don't know exactly what's out there, let's take out this Battlecopter to start. I love Sammy's cute little face that she makes up there when she gets a good victory. It's a wonder they save fighter jets rule the skies. Just make sure to keep your air units out of enemy range, or they'll be destroyed. Now let's take a look at bombers. Select this unit. Bombers can attack only adjacent ground units and naval units. However, they deal massive damage, and most units aren't even able to strike them back. And let's take out the enemy missile unit before it can attack our air units. Yeah, it still wasn't enough to take them all out. Nice shot. Bombers are really strong, so make sure you keep an eye out for them. Watch out for enemy fighter jets as well. With air units, you also need to keep an eye on how much fuel they have remaining. Copters use two fuel per day, but fighter jets and bombers use a whopping five fuel per day. If they run out, they'll crash, and those units will be lost. Remember that air units ignore terrain movement penalties, but they also don't get any terrain bonuses, so there's a trade-off. That's a Special Forces Commander for you. Always up to the latest intel. Hey, wait. Did you say that you've seen them before, Andy? Uh-huh. Yeah, the Commander seemed really mad at me. And you survived? Not bad, Andy. Nice work, kid. Oh, yeah! Alright, let's roll! Alright, so first and foremost, our CO Intel. Sammy, the best girl in the series. An infantry unit specialist that has trouble with gr other ground units. She's a proud graduate of Special Forces training. Her foot soldiers gain a plus 20 to firepower and defense and can capture properties at 150% speed. Her other indirect combat units suffer a minus 10 firepower and transport units gain a plus 1 to the movement range. 
So, Sammy, best with infantry, not so good with vehicles, but her mechs are absolutely insane. Mechs do a little bit more damage in that her... I forgot to go over CO ability. Her CO power is double time. Sammy Swift Soldiers gain plus one to movement range and plus 35 to firepower and 15 to de defense. The movement costs are reduced to one across all terrain, regardless of weather. Her other units gain a small bonus to firepower and defense. So, Sammy is basically the capture specialist of Orange Star. Best when it comes to just taking properties and dishing out with her mechs and infantry, but you'll be hard pressed if you decide to use her direct combat vehicles. Indirect combat units, I don't believe, are affected by her detriments, so you still got that going for you at least. Alright, so we're gonna put this up here and we're gonna guard these. Let's get you loaded up. And we'll drop you off to start capturing the cities up there. We'll load this mech into here, and we'll load this mech into here, and we shall start by dropping off you down here. Probably should have dropped you off in the forest now that I think about it. And we'll drop you off into the forest down here. Let's get you moving across the river. Let's start taking out these battle copters. And even though she's not good when it comes to direct combat vehicles, she's still pretty deadly with her anti-air units. Let's hide you in the forest right here. Let's hide you in the forest up here. I'm a little nervous because I'm sure Eagle probably has like one or two anti-air units hiding in the forest like that missile. And actually, I should probably compensate for that by taking it out with the helicopters first and foremost. There we go. And now let's reduce the the battlecopter strength so we'll take out the ones right here. Alright. And that will end our turn because we don't have any other units and we don't have any bases. The Orange Star Army. Those are Andy's troops. I won't be beaten again. By Andy and his ilk. This time, I shall crush them with one decisive blow. Ruh row. All right, I probably should get that out of there. I don't want to risk losing our fast transport. Well, there goes that plan. Ground Force has actually held off against it rather well. Oh, there's a bomber. And there goes all my anti-air vehicles. And there goes the infantry that I dropped up there. I really should have dropped them off in the forest. All right, well, that didn't go out as well as I planned. All right, well, first things first, let's take out this bomber up here. Alright, we're in a bit of a bind here because we lost one of our infantry squads, so we got to be very careful with the placement of my troops down here.
Uh-oh. Ooh, there's fighters coming. Alright, uh, let's see. The fighters basically had the entire area covered. I don't want to risk losing my bomber, so we're going to move you back here. And we're going to move you to start capturing the cities up here. Could maybe try to drop off infantry up there and sneak them past the the army. I think we're going to be losing that, that wing of gunships up there. Yeah, we're probably going to be losing both because he didn't even bother using this fighter yet. I found it funny how it said, like, fighters are not good against ground units, and they're only good against the other air units, and the Green Ore Fighter is based off the A-10, which is basically, like, one of the best, like, uh, air-to-surface fighters in, like, that was ever made. Hello, boy. I think we might have just made a mistake, because that bomber now has a free range to attack my missile truck, because it's not hiding in the woods anymore. got surprised by the ambush. Alright. Uh, let's see. Can't really do anything about that. Could use that to take out... The... if it's worth it to, to use the seal power yet. I think instead of capturing that city right now, let's ambush this tank. <laughs> Barely scratched the paint on the helmets. I think what we'll do... I don't want to risk exposing our medium tank yet. So let's do this. Let's have the infantry take out the battle copter up there. And then we're rolling the tanks to stop the infantry from capturing that city, is what I would have said it had it had the range to do so. I guess we, we will use them to just take out the tanks. I can roll my bomber in, though, and then drop the bombs on these guys. for a tank. Let's move you back here to hide. Uh, the APC. I'll keep it back here so we can grab the troops and start moving them up there. I think what we can do is we can get the transport copter up here and we can actually sneak them past the army to their HQ. It's worth a try at least. keep the bulk of our forces down here just engaging Eagles men. Right, the interior vehicle should be able to take care of it. For the most part.
Let's finish off that bomber with our fighters. We'll finish off the fighter with our anti-air vehicles. And then I will go and load up those mechs. I should have dropped, dropped it off right here. And we'll fly them up over here to the HQ and begin the capture process. There's another thing about helicopters over there. Honestly, the fighter's not really going to be that big of a threat right now because it's only one. And if he decides to attack my fighter, then the retaliation will be able to wipe him out. And if he attacks the bomber, well, it's not going to be that bad. Honestly, gunships or battlecopters are honestly the bigger threat right now. So let's focus on taking them out. I need to get these guys to an allied city to heal back up. Probably, uh, no, I already moved the tank. Alright, let's see what they do. I'm gonna guess they're probably either gonna go after the anti-air vehicles. Uh-oh. Well, they still held out, but I think the other fight, or the other helicopter's gonna take them out, yeah. Oh, wow, no, they actually survived that. I'm kind of surprised. All right, let's get you guys up over here. Let's finish the capture on this spot. Ooh, actually, we don't even need to waste our fighter on the fighter over there. We can just use our missiles to take him out. Mm. Yeah, I honestly would rather just weaken him a bit than uh, keep one very powerful unit alive. have our bombers scout out a little bit. I don't think there is any fighters, but no my luck, Eagle probably has one fighter or squadron in reserve for just this occasion. Alright, you guys can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. I really hope Eagle does not have anybody at the HQ but up there. I think what I'll do just for an extra layer of precaution, I will drop off my mechs in the forest nearby just to conceal the drop off. Uh oh. No, so much for saving those guys. HQ is completely unguarded.
cover that side of the river. And let's see what Eagle decides to do here. He's moving around someone. Here I come. Might as well show off Sammy's power. I don't think it, it allows us to capture a building in one turn. Because I think that's saved for her superpower. Nope, it doesn't. Ooh, there's a fighter sitting right there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be losing that transport. She can almost reach that fighter. Yeah, knew it. Ah, oh, well, it did its job. It got the troops to the HQ, so all we have to do is just finish off the capture and we're done. In fact, I think that fighter might actually be the last of Eagle's units. Otherwise, I... He just completely neglected uh, the rest of his army. But I think that's the last that he has because he immediately ended his turn. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. HQ's ours. Commander! Commander Eagle, I do believe we have been defeated, sir. Ugh. Impossible! I, Eagle, lost again? It happens to the best of us. Really? And who might you be? My loss is none of your concern. My name's Sammy. I'm an Orange Star CO. The indignity of it, losing yet again to such an inexperienced lot. Oh, come on! Excuse, excuse me? You're just careless. That's why you keep losing. We're a capable group of CEOs here. Maybe you should head back to basic training and pick up a few new strategies. Your old ones don't seem to be working out so well. I beg your pardon, Orange Star CO. Sammy, was it? Yes? I would like to apologize for my behavior. It was inappropriate. Uh... Oh, well, okay. I vow by my lucky goggles that next time we meet, we'll, I will do better, and I will treat my opponents with the respect they deserve. Unless your name is Andy, in which case I'm going to bully you nonstop. For now, I take my leave. Farewell. Uh... Oh, wait a minute, no one said you could leave! I... And he's gone. At least it seems like a at least he seems like a halfway decent guy after all. Onward. All right, onward to Gold Comet. Let's go. And hey, an A rank. Technique could have been better, but had I not lost my fighter or my transports, I probably would have done better and got the S rank. Oh well, let's go.